fun thing about art is that it's communication. And I think in a capitalist society, we get really caught up on what we should do. I don't have the analysis in my head yet to work out why that's become the case. But there's so much should. And I think in my little tiny microcosm of the music industry, the should is often around technique. It's often around types of songwriting. Should or shouldn't you use auto-tune? Should or shouldn't you use samples? Should or shouldn't you, you know, get rid of all the breaths in this part? Or should, should or shouldn't you, you know, uh, take the vocals 50 times? What should or shouldn't you do? And I tend to reject that on the premise, you know, in the words of, uh, paraphrasing the sentiments of CJ the X. It's really not my business. It's really not my business what the quality of my work is, what I should and shouldn't do. What is my business is making something authentic and giving it to people. There is that there is that moment where you go making something authentic to the best of my ability. Who said that? Who said that? And I think this is the case for a lot of creative industries. We have created hierarchy around art so that we can create a market where there's more and less valuable art. And if you want to trade it like a commodity like that, sure. But Ella Enchanted changed my life. And just yesterday, I just watched the three Sergio Leone Dollars trilogy films, and those changed my life. And one of those is considered to be something that is really well made, and the other one is considered a kid's movie. And at the end of the day, their impact had nothing to do with their quality. It had to do with the story being told and the humans involved. Do you hear what I'm saying here? We are not obligated as artists or as humans to do something to the best of our ability because that is just an illusion of control. The idea that you wouldn't do something to the best of your ability is, is a lie, is, a, is, a, is an illusion. Who does stuff badly on purpose? So once you remove that quality from art and you realize that it's about impact, not quality, you can start to make an impact. Impact starts happening. Instead of constantly fixating on the quality of the work that is arbitrary, the impact of the work has nothing to do with the quality. Because what is quality? That's subjective. But impact can be measured in how many people's lives you have affected.